600 got the support precisely as what we discussed in our uh, daily review yesterday that 146680 zone is going to be the maximum support zone with that as support we have seen it rising and 14900 precisely given it a very very good raise now today again we have seen it yielding lower highs and now trying to trade with the top so what does this mean is it going to crash from here is it going to continue with the drop from here and may break 14600 or it is expected to again break past 14900 towards 15000 levels which position you should take trading nasdaq 100 today we will see with the help of charts and let's start first to look into hourly charts and then graduate to daily charts and towards then i will give you the trading levels and strategy watch till the end now i need not say that 14840850 zone is a greater resistance the candles speaks on its own and you can see why it is a greater greater resistance and yet again i will maintain my stance that only and only if you see tech 100 is staying beyond 14850 you are recommended to buy now if you look at the formation if you divide it into two the support is seen here at 700 then 680 and then 650 these are three major support levels for tech 100 here if you divide it into it, it is trying to create look at the preceding candle there is a pull there is a downward push and then this candle has given a breakout so it is still bearish stock i stick is looking down the macd is divergent the macd is bearish it is also looking downwards here and rsi likewise is also trying to trade with the bearish one. coming to two hour charts similar observation here 14850 880 900 900 is the ultimate resistance any which ways at the same time one must not forget that higher lows are getting yielded here and if and only if tech 100 breaks below 14650 you can say that we are looking forward to 14600 and 500 in fact this time it is going to yield further low this is going to be a breakout and this breakout can be a sharper one a stock i stick here is looking downwards trying to trade bearish the macd is also divergent and bearish and the rsi is also looking down trying to stay bearish here coming to look at 3 hour chart see moving averages crossing over here the 20 and 50 period and this is a bullish cross this is coming after a long long while at the same time one must not forget that this candle is a breakout candle this can stress the drop for a while however on the downside we may find again 700 680 650 levels is a great great support. yes if you see prices staying below 750 levels or rather i would say 760 levels itself you can take a sell entry here expect 720 700 is the first support 680 650 and once it breaks below 650 just stay short we are going to look forward to a massive massive drop there yes be careful the consolidation zone if it comes out of certainly more bearish move can be seen at the same time a breakout on the upside is only confirmed if it stays above 14900 yes you can buy at 14 850 levels but then with the extra caution that yes bullishness is only confirmed if it stays above 900 stock i stick on the 3 hour charts is also looking down the macd has crossed over trading with divergence and bearishness this is the first red candle we may see couple or more red candles from here rsi looking down trying to trade bearish coming to now look at 4 hour chart see after creating this step this is the first breakout candle higher lows lower highs just wait for this consolidation zone it wait for it to come out of this consolidation certainly more bearishness may prevail once it stays below 14 650 levels remember this fact more bearishness is going to prevail it stays below 14 650 levels if you look at the stock i think this is looking down the macd is on the verge of a bearish crossover and rsi is also trying to look down trying to trade with slight bearish bias coming to the now on the daily chart this is why i say this is a consolidation because see first of all a reversal sign of is seen second is this crossover this reversal has come from slightly lower levels at the same time one must not forget that it has achieved the 20 period moving average there was too much of divergence from the 20 period moving average the prices converged towards the moving average now trying to reverse here and possibly once it stays below 14650 that is the time where you can say that the bearishness is prevailing if you look at the stock i think this is near to top but macd interestingly macd is one thing which is converged and it is not yet crossed over it is still still it is trading with the bearish bias you can see this see the first wave here second wave has started it is not yet crossed over if it crosses over certainly you can say that the bulls are here and it is going to stay bullish but at the same time remember it can stretch the drop on the downside and trade bearish today before showing any reversal it can try to move towards 14600 500 levels rsi comfortable and it is trying to stay bearish looking at this as we discussed that yes you can sell here at 14760 expect 14720700 as the first support zone 68650 as the next support zone once you see tech 100 is staying below 14650 just stay short for 14600 and then below 14600 more bearishness may prevail remember 
it has to come out of this zone which is around 14400 levels if and only if tech 100 stays below 14400 you can say that the bears are back and it is going to drop for 14200 14000 and 13800 levels in the coming few sessions here so yes 14400 is the level which you should watch out for any point of time tech 100 breaking below this level certainly one must stay short so yes selling entries at 14760 buying entries at 14850 do not trade for these 90 points in between these 90 points just watch just observe just be cautious also if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch the 26th batch is going to start on 9th of october limited seats are available register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my singles channel reach out to me for more details and yes before leaving the video do press the like button friends do comment and do share and subscribe your every like comment share subscribe is a great inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities and join my free telegram channel in order to get the live market updates the links are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead see you again tomorrow with a daily update for nasdaq 100